pretty positive. I've never seen one before on sonar, but I'm thinking an old bus or dump truck. It's something big. There is a pickup down there, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's gotta be a truck and a car right now. Well, look, there's no doubt that's a truck. You can see the, the wheel well in the bed we that's saw. That's a truck. And yeah, and then car. right down from it is a car. Today we traveled to Pennsylvania where we're searching for Jason Hoffman, 45 years old. He went missing from Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. And there's not a lot of info that I could find on this case. To my knowledge, he is still missing. So we're in the area, we're gonna be searching for him. We're also, uh, this is kind of a part two in the Philadelphia area. The Delaware River we searched all day yesterday, found a car, um, that'll be in the previous video, but we're gonna keep searching. There's like at least 10, I guess this, this makes 11 missing people that we know of in the area in vehicles. So uh, we're going to be out here checking the boat ramp. There's another creek over there, the Delaware River. It's pretty nasty today, isn't it? And yesterday. I mean, the water conditions up here are like, yeah, really nasty. I could barely see anything. I mean, I literally was this close. Luckily, the current does help, so you can see a little bit. So if we do find a car, it's going to be a challenge, but you have like yeah, visibility. So it's better than zero. Yeah. But there's also that tide, the current. It's a different environment, but I mean, you know, we're, it's it's doable. Right. So I figure we find cars, we'll be able to clear them pretty quick. Yeah, the car we're searching for is a 2006 green Mini Cooper, a license plate KDX4948. Uh, there is some s rumors about he may have been in a rental car. He was supposedly supposed to travel to Delaware, which is south, but I saw a post saying he had a phone ping north and uh, that's all the info I have, but this is actually north from his residence. So I think it's as good as any to clear these areas. To my knowledge, no other search team has looked for this guy, uh, but we're gonna do our best. We're in the area and we're gonna keep searching the rest of the Delaware River and uh, I'm sure we'll find other cars. So let's get the boat out here, see what we can find. All right. my hummingbird but we're using Jeremy's Garmin right now and we're coming up to the, the boat ramp over here that we first wanted to check it's 40 what 41 feet out here yeah we're pretty far out the here channel check this boat ramp so what are we doing so basically there's this boat ramp then there's uh I don't know how to pronounce it there's a creek right there um, the other side of that one we just put in yeah I don't know if that's going to be deep enough at all but there is a boat ramp a little ways up then I think it gets super shallow, so. Um, but these are closest to his house. So I say we just scan up and down here. This boat ramp is like most suspect to me. What if there's like 10 cars right here? There very well could be. We spent the day marking cars. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be diving. I have a feeling we're gonna stay pretty busy today, but. Uh, what exactly just happened? It's getting really shallow. It's like a foot deep right here. There's the so boat ramp we were originally gonna put in it. Then I'm glad we didn't try. If it's that shallow way out here, oh, yeah. there's no chance. I mean, it's dropping back. To, I think that was just a little spot. A lot of a lot of plant life right there, I guess. Huh. That's a little bit better. Still, there's no way we would have got a boat in right there. We would have been like stuck. I, I, that's probably like even low. right here. It's well, the tide's even getting a little bit lower. It's probably about where it's gonna be, but. Oh, look at the grass all right here. Oh, that's what we're looking at right now. Yeah, there. I don't. I don't. I, yeah. All right, we can just dub this clear. Maybe go straight out. There's nothing. There's just gosh. maybe there might. If the water's high, the car could have floated straight out into the channel. I mean, I guess it's possible. Man, there's like really shallow way out here. I don't know how they use that boat ramp, other than when the tide is like its highest. Locals probably know all about it. It's like, well, duh. Right, so I didn't see anything at the boat ramp um, or in this little inlet yet. 
Here's this creek over here. We may be able to get up. I think we'll be able to get up in it, but it's gonna be pretty narrow. Uh, the Neshamini State Marina, Neshamini Creek. There's some boats up in there, so I think we'll go up a little ways. And there is a little boat ramp up in there. Up in there. So huh? uh, let's see what we're looking. We'll at. see. Let's see what we can find. So we're making our way up farther. There's a lot more boats up here. It's still 10, 9, 10 feet. I mean, it's. See that thing? A crane? You can have one of those. It'd be a good recovery tool. It's big enough to pick up boats. We're gonna go up a little ways, and uh, I think there's a boat ramp up here we're gonna check, and then we'll head back out to the main river. Who has the boat ramp? So we're up here going past the bridges. The boat ramp's right up here on the left. I have no idea if it's deep enough or not, but right now it's five feet. It's, it's getting a little bit deeper no, around the bridge area. Some of these walls on the side look old. Yeah, there's some history out here, man. All uh, right, here's the boat ramp. I don't know if it's able to be used anymore because it looks like there's oh, they got that docks in the way, but 2018 might've been different. Or maybe it's just low tide. Dude, look at that boat over there. Better days. So it's seven feet steep enough, but I'm not. See now that one's aluminum. That's old Jumbo, right? Yeah. Look at the water it's done to that thing. Man, eating up. Seen any cars? I didn't see not a thing. That's a sunken boat too. That's or no, I might be seeing the bottom of that one. You know. It, it looks like we just went over a vehicle. It definitely might be. I would say, I mean, it's kind of a good spot, good area. There's a few, I mean, there's some junk out here. Um, there's a big wall right here. It's like, I don't, the 2018, you know, it's not that long ago, but there could be old cars, more than likely. We're looking for a 2018 car. Or it went in in 2018. I think it was How older it than that. There, well, that opening right there, dude. Well, and it just wide open. Well, you had to go over some rocks and stuff, wouldn't you? You could have launched it pretty easy. Why the heck would he have done that? I mean, this whole area is kind of like a little sketchy area. There's a, looks like new construction of houses here. So right over here is the opening we're looking at. It's kind of a perfect little opening right there. You see it? Was that it we were just going over? That might have been it. I think I just got a horrible shot of it. A bunch of crap right there. There's here. a lot of, a lot of crap. It might not be a vehicle, but... No, what are these things? There's some mess. I mean, right there, that one little opening, you could launch a car off. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty, pretty positive. I've never seen one before on sonar, but we're thinking an old bus or dump truck. It's something big and boxy. Go forward a little bit. Forward. Like the... We're just, we've been sitting here for like 30 minutes trying to figure out what this thing is. But our best guess is a big old dump truck. Right in front of it, there's a four-wheeler. <laughs> Baby, something. People just throw stuff away. Why would you put a dump truck? It's insurance fraud, man. Yeah. Some company more to, was more to write off. Some company was hurting, so they just they just ditched it and wrote it off as stolen. This actually would make a lot of sense. It's right near the house. <laughs> So that is interesting, but looks like an old car to me that's upside down. But it is like, you know, right down the street from this guy's house. What kind of car are we looking for? A Mini Cooper? I don't know. Man. That's not a Mini Cooper, I think it is. Mini Cooper is a tiny little thing. That's... That looks like a truck without a bed on it. See the frame in the back? Maybe that's, maybe that's a, that looks different now. 
we gotta get a live. What the? I mean, it doesn't. Well, the live's hooked up. That couldn't be a Mini Cooper, could it? It's stubbier. It doesn't look like a truck, kind of. I mean, it... that picture to me looks like a truck without a without a uh, head on it, which very well could be. Yeah. I got a Challenger, a, a Charger, maybe. If it's not giving a good image, you think it's newer? Could be. I mean, when we first went over it, we we're just—it we, didn't even look like anything. Now, 18 isn't that new, though. So I guess it's not like you know. Yeah. You think it's so a few years. Still, I mean, that, it's, no, we're not getting a great picture, which is weird. That could be. Uh, there is a pickup down there, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be a truck and a car, right? Next well, look. Together. There's no doubt that's a truck. You can see the the wheel well in the bed. So there was a dang truck we saw. It's just they're right next to each other. The car was just downstream a little bit more than that truck. I didn't think we was crazy, so I take that back. We it, it is a dang truck we That's saw. That's a truck. And yeah, then and then car. right down from it is a car. What's that? That's a dude. That looks like a hatchback. That did. That looked more like a Mini Cooper. Yeah, Mini Coopers are hatchbacks, right? Yeah. They're super compact. Is that the truck? That's the truck. It's even oh, on the hill. A, wait, is that a different truck? That, what do I, I think it is, because you're aimed that way. Like right here. You're yeah. aimed. Like look behind you. It's like right there. 20 feet down. Like it's on the it's on the angle. People have been pushing cars in here for a minute. But that one we just passed. If that's a if that's a, a hatchback, dude, that's gotta be the, the car. That's gotta be the first one. Yeah. Almost like a smart car. It kind of looks like a part of, like the cab of a truck. God, that looks like a Scion. You know, like those weird square hatchbacks. That dude, okay. That, that could be some, that. It's a, it's a cube? A Nissan cube? You know, like that hatchback? That's a, something a, small. A Mini Cooper is... It's small. It's, it's kind of like that, yeah. That could... Oh, uh, this place has got this more is, cars is, here, dude. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me show you how close we are to where this guy went missing. So we, we are two miles from this guy's house. Dang. Do you think you could clear all these cars? Like if we did like... Uh, yeah. We'll mark the first one and then you can suit I up. mean, I wish the Viz was better. I know. But like, let's say like, we'll, we'll mark the car for anything. Like the one, like we'll say the hatchback first. And if yeah. it's not our guy, like could, when you come up, you could just sit on the seat, we'll pull the magnet, and then I'll I'll, I'll guide you and you just, once you hit it again, yeah. and then you can just drop down on that and we'll do that a few I, times. I feel like a lot of these are gonna be rusty. Well, the pickup trucks, I mean, there's no, besides the Dakota, but that's a ways yeah, away. Yeah, it's a ways away, it's still not, it's not. But I they mean, haven't found them yet. Dude, I think there's gonna be lots of cars. <laughs> and we haven't even, yeah, we just just very quickly found three more. Yeah. There's two pickups, let's a little hatchback, let's and a car. Check these though. God, that live scan is two miles. That really that, is that an upside down vehicle? I think that's so you're aimed out. Those two tires? Give me the very back of a bed. Oh no, there it yeah, is. Yeah, it looks like a okay. tailgate. Yeah, okay. That's what you aimed. That's the truck. Aim straight down that way. So that's the that's the first truck we saw. The second one's right here. That one looks like it has no roof. How old it Ooh, is? Gosh. You can see straight through it. Yeah. So I don't know about that one. Uh, let me, the truck is newer. That could be old. That could be really well, old. The, the roofs do go out first, but yeah, there's no roof. That was that. That could be like. Now you're. That's the other truck. So you're aiming directly at the pickup truck next to the car. And that doesn't have a roof. That does it. not have a roof. That's gotta be in there for a long time then. But where is that other thing? What are we talking about? The hatchback? Is that it? We're about to mark this thing with a magnet. I mean, there's a lot of junk here. Um, yeah, this is a crazy hazardous spot. Like that, the car we're going for right now is like right next to a huge tree. This has gotta be a little hatchback, smart car, maybe Mini Cooper. Go Doesn't, for it. it, huh? Throw it over. Let's see what happens. You might be right on it. That's it, you're hitting it. Should be right on top of it. I think I'm inside of it. That's it, so don't pull it off. Well, it's not. It's, I think I'm inside of it. 
it's better than nothing. I mean, you're on it. Okay, I'm on it. Man. Fun. Current's, current's rolling in now. So, so, I mean, it, gosh. One shot looks really much like a smart car or a, a little hatchback, and then other shots look like a, a But uh, if it was a cab, how'd it get so cab. far out here? They would just have rolled it off, and it would have landed right there. What if there. it was in the back of that dump truck full of crap? But it wouldn't float. No windows. It's just a piece of metal. True. There's no, you know. It also didn't float very far, but depending on what time this car may have went in, it might have been slack tide, so it just floated out here a little bit in the sun. You know? Like those two. That car way down there, obviously the tide was going out. So I'll dive this. If this is our guy, I mean, that'll change that, you know. But if, then if it's nothing, um, maybe we can check that one out. And then there's that car right there I'm interested in. And I might be able to stand on it over See, there. We have an upside down car right there. We have a dump truck, this tiny thing, another pickup, and then another car. And we haven't even gone past that car. Yeah. So there could be more cars down there. I mean, there's still a couple more boat ramps. All right, got my gear on. About to dive on this thing. And uh, Jeremy will be communicating with me through the OTS box. He's got over there. And then uh, hopefully we'll try to be able to mark these other cars and dive them all together. Yeah, this is a truck cab, not our vehicle. Over. Very bad, poor visibility. But you can see something. I can see enough, I mean. Yeah. And uh, fishy line everywhere. Oh, a bit. And uh. He's right though, truck cab. How do you think it was? Truck cab. Kind of, it's been a while to made it this far out here. Was there windows and everything in it or is it just bare? No, no doors, no windows. That's wild. There's tires next by it, but it's kind of spooky, man. I bet. Deep. If I, I had it going through the cab, if I don't have it stuck on good, it might come off. What are you about? This thing? The magnet. Well, let's try to, huh? I don't know what you mean. If, it was going through the roof. Oh, okay. It wasn't even hooked to anything. Yeah. 
It's a Hyundai. A Hyundai. A Hyundai is one of the cars we were looking for. This might be it. VZN1042 But we are looking for a Hyundai. Right here, there should be like a, looks like a dump truck and another car that's upside down. So it's only five feet, which should be like right here. I think I can just touch it. Let's see if we can find this thing. So many big rocks, though. This was some sort of Toyota, upside down. The newer? The wheel was like shiny chrome with shiny lug nuts. So the wheel made me think newer, but the car, I mean, it was mostly buried. The car made me think older. But this water, you know, the current. Did you see the center cap or anything? Yeah. It was a Toyota? It center? was like, a, I could I could, t I could, show, I could tell you. I'll pop, maybe it, I'll pop up a picture. It was a car brand, is that what you're saying? Yeah, it was a Toyota. Okay, I got you. And it had like the back trunk kind of lifted it was like no tag no tag um it's upside down yeah mostly buried covered fishy line i got, I got so caught up and tangled i'm surprised people i mean it's right there people are fishing off that all day yeah so well and whatever that other thing is i mean I, looking at it over and over again on the sonar it could be i'm gonna go with some kind of bus small bus or small camper because it's got a bunch of windows it looks like i mean if you look right here it's express truck repair they gotta be done i'd have i would be at least bit surprised if that's what they're doing yeah you know and if it is that's no bueno no that's like, not good so maybe we'll go down to the boat since we have a tag yeah i mean that's gonna that's gonna put them on the right track that car one, be stolen one tag if they i don't know you can kind of presume that maybe if <gasps> the same what if they reported that car? Oh, that was stolen off our lot. Sorry, or something like that. It might have been, yeah. They're I mean, like, oh, we just dumped because we couldn't fix it. I don't know. It could be some weird scam we just come across. We'll find out. I mean, if anything's missing, or uh, we'll report it at least. I, I couldn't, I mean, I was going to go down there, but it just felt like a massive line and uh, kind of dangerous. <laughs> so um, we're going to go up to the next. There's a couple more boat ramps, and then we'll come back and then probably call the cops if we don't find anything down there. What do you say? I guess so. All right. Let's go to the next boat ramp. And there's a vehicle. <laughs> there's a car. Actually, that might be like an SUV. I don't know if you got the car or not. We just was reporting you guys. No, like clusters. Right At the end of this road, there's an opening that you can get um, vehicles into the river. Okay. We uh -huh. found a cluster of cars underneath the water right there. Really? And maybe even a dump truck or something. There's a larger vehicle. Yeah. Uh